Alabama has won the toss. They win everything all the time. They have chosen to defer. Tennessee will get the football first. And we will see Brian Mauer. That was in question. The freshman quarterback will give it a go tonight. Joseph Bullivus puts the football on a tee. Marquez Callaway is back deep for Tennessee. 15 minutes on the clock, quarter number one. We start 0-0 and underway from T-Town. And it's a short kick from Callaway from the three. Ty Chandler able to return and doesn't get the yardage he would like. More pressure coming. Mauer gets rid of it down the sideline. One and Jawan Jennings can't find him. Joe Doyle, the walk-on punter. We'll see if they decide to punt to Jalen Waddle. If it were me, I would not punt him. Low snap. Doyle gets it away. Short kick. Waddle on the Tennessee side of the field. Comes to the near side and down the sideline. It's a 37-yard punt. Bottom line is, this guy has supreme talent, and he's the most accurate downfield passer in all of college football. From the 35, he's going to throw quick. Slant in the middle to Jerry Judy. They get Judy involved quickly. But Dickerson stays at center, and Deontay Brown's the starting right guard. From the 15 now. Tungabaloa, straight drop. Throws, end zone. Trying to find Henry Ruggs. Pass interference. Defense, number 20. Two tight ends, two backs in for Alabama. That's Harris, bottom of your screen. Tonga Bailoa, back to the end zone. Incomplete, but a flag flies in. Great read from Nigel Warrior. It's just bad execution. He's in good Holding. position. Defense. Ali Cajo to lead block for Najee Harris. Touchdown. They bring the big fella in. And Alabama, an opportunity to use those new fancy lights. So Kirby's come the closest to figuring it out, or he has the best players. <laughs> One of the two. On second and five, here's Tim Jordan with a good run and a first down. We'll see what develops here tonight in Tuscaloosa. Here's Maurer to throw, trying to slant of his own, he's intercepted! It's picked off by Jared Maiden! Off the hands of Jawan Jennings! So they start at the 35 of Tennessee the first time, and now the 38-yard line of the Vols. Off the play fake. Tonga Bailoa. Off for Harris out of the backfield, stays on his feet for the first down! And he's inside the 25, gain of 14 on the play. Cheney said, give me 40 guys, just like Jennings. I'll take him. Third down and three. Tunga by low, underneath crossing to Jerry Judy. First down and maybe more. Down to the two. First down and goal. From the two. Tunga by low to throw for it. Get some pressure. He's all the way back to the 20. Throws and it's intercepted at the goal line. Intercepted by Nigel Warrior. Down the sideline. Running out of gas. And he'll be taken down by Henry Ruggs, the fastest man on the field. And he got caught listening to some rat poison. Here's third and 10. Mauer to throw for it. Back shoulder. It is caught. There is a flag down. Josh Palmer has it. Two tight ends in for Tennessee. Mauer off the play fake. Trying to get a little too cute. Trying to hit Dominic Wood Anderson. And it's going to be a penalty. Holding. Defense. Number 24. Mauer. Did he get there waiting for the signal? Still no signal. Which means no touchdown. I think that was a touchdown. Anybody see anybody putting the arms in the air? 
Their average starting field position was at the Texas A&M 41-yard line. Well, Jalen Waddle had 128 return yards in the punt game. So far today, the average starting field position is even better than that. And that's Najee Harris. Yeah, they're eighth in the SEC alone running the football. And I think some of it is they're so good throwing it. Why, why wouldn't they throw it? That's fair. Harris up the middle. But it starts with them running the football. First down and ten. Tongue about low at a throw. Crossing is Henry Ruggs. He's out of the 25. He's so humble. Confident, humble, and a terrific teammate. Harris running, taken down. A couple of flags fly. It's a gain of five if it stands. Personal foul. Hands to the face. Defense, number 35. Batuli missed the first half of this game in Knoxville a year ago after a targeting penalty the previous game. Brian Robinson taking on contact and the pylon. Coming into this environment with this noise and the pass rushers that Alabama has, that's a task. And Wanye is a five-star guy. Little pump and completion to Jenkins. And there's a flag down. Couple of flags down, and Brian Maurer slow to get up. The ruling of targeting has been reversed. There was not forcible contact. Molly will get us a report as soon as it becomes available. Final 30 seconds of the first quarter. Garantano to throw. Hooks up with Jennings, gonna be short of the marker. Yeah, you don't mess around with, you know, head injuries and back-to-back -back weeks. Back-to-back, -back, yeah. Tim Jordan on third and one. Changing plays when it didn't make sense to change plays. He wasn't playing the position well. Now, hopefully he has another opportunity here and he plays better. Big run by Tim Jordan down the sideline. That's the burst that Tennessee needed from the Bama 18. Garantano to throw. Try to zip it in a Callaway. And there are flags down. Patrick Sertan on the coverage. See if he throws it this time. Flag comes in. Garantano throws it. It is dropped. Inevitable downfield. Number 62 on the offense. Pilgrims decline. Holding number 72 on the offense. That penalty's decline. Holding number 74 on the offense. The 10 yard penalty. <laughs> Replay the down. Garantano wants more and overthrew Jennings. He had him and he missed him. Brent Samalaga. On for a 37 yard field goal attempt. Right through the uprights. You can't take a Saturday off, you know that. Here's Tunga Bailoa. Across the middle of Forrestall, the tight end. And he's got first down yards. We'll give him 14 on the play. Giving him the hardest looks he possibly can every single practice. Sometimes they're practicing stuff that they know they're not going to see, but just trying to get him ready for anything. Loading up and firing for Jerry Judy. No, I beg your pardon. It's Ruggs and Judy in the neighborhood, and Ruggs runs underneath. That's at Todd McShay. Tungabalo underneath. It's Judy trying to dive for the goal line. He's short. And and make make the uh, determination yourself. They're going to go back and take a look at this potentially for targeting on Batuli. Number 35 committed target. Number 35 is disqualified. But it won't help Batuli or Tennessee here tonight. Solon Page checks in. As Najee Harris walks into the end zone. Touchdown, Alabama. On the ground, Tim Jordan. For about five, Christian Harris. They keep pushing the pile, no whistles, and that's a first down. That's an unbelievable run. Impressive run. Garantano will take a shot. Now the right sideline for Josh Palmer, and a flag comes in. Trayvon Diggs on the coverage. 
On third down and ten. Garantano trying to get out of there. Escapes somehow. Cuts up field. And he's taken down late as he hit the 50 by Christian Barmore. Babel will start from their own 21. Up 21-10. Tungo by Loa as the pocket collapses around him, and he's taken down. Greg Emerson with the sack. Here comes Mac Jones. Mac Jones, the backup quarterback, as Tungo by Loa is attended to. Jones played in the first five games. The only game he didn't get into was last week against AM. And with everybody playing back, it's a screen to Waddle on third and ten. And that backfires against Tennessee. It's a first down, Alabama. And that's the worst possible part of his body to be injured because that's what he was dealing with a year ago. Blitz up the middle. Tennyson dropped it. Bama's been perfect on third down conversions. It's third and seven. Blitz coming. And Jones will be taken down. Cuevaris couch. I get it. You haven't had a whole lot of reps in practice during the course of the week, but that was an easy one. When Short punt. Out. From Will Reichard. Well, that's Reichard who's been hurt. He's had a hip flexor Look at him. issue. He's, he's yeah. in pain, too. Can't Young, it, no? inexperienced, and injured. Yeah. We saw Texas a few weeks ago. Especially the secondary. Huh? Pressure. Garantano gets away. Now taken down from behind. Dropped by Shane Lee. Bama has two timeouts. It's Harris. Burst through a seam out to the 30. On the first down. Just get it snapped in time. Harris again on the ground. Najee Harris. Out to the 48-yard line, Matt Barry. Still trying to figure out if he can get 100. But 99 is the best so far. Here's Jones, the throw. Crossing to Harris underneath. With 20 seconds left, he's down to the 31-yard line. Just got to work that out. Going to take another shot here with seven seconds left. Get some more yardage. Forrest all able to catch that as Jones hit him in the numbers. Joseph Bullivis. On to attempt a field goal. Just three for four this season on field goal attempts. This will be a 41-yard attempt. And Jeremy Pruitt's going to call a timeout. And Tua Tungo Bailoa is the holder, but he's in the locker room. So Mac Jones will hold now. And Tennessee will take another timeout. See, now you're playing the game. Uh, Both of us is thinking they're going to take the third time right, out. And right. maybe now you don't do it. He's standing right next uh, to the lines in there. Oh, oh come we're... on. <laughs> come on. Listen to the crowd. Take it. <laughs> Got to come through this time. There are no more timeouts for Tennessee to take. Bolivas, after all of that, he missed it. Missed it to the left. They have got to find a consistency in the run game. This offensive line needs to come off the ball, and Najee Harris needs to make the reads. Here's Harris being pushed back inside the five. He'll get out to the six. Darrell Middleton, the stop. It's a loss of four. First down and ten. Tennessee starts with excellent field position. And it's Ty Chandler across midfield and down the sideline. Forced out of bounds at the 30. And look at Pruitt running down the sideline. Jared Garantano out of the shotgun. Garantano throwing, zipped it into Jawan Jennings. And I think he's going to be short of the first down. Third down and one. Garantano on the quarterback sneak. And you can see Tennessee going quickly there to get the first down. Here comes the blitz. Pressure. Garantano gets rid of it. It's caught by Jennings. Able to go up and bring it down for the first down. Carter on the coverage. They get it away. And Jennings will run with it. Turn the corner. And knocked out before he hits the goal line. There is a flag down. Holding. Offense. Number 64. Tennessee got down to the bound with five penalties. The drive stalled out. Had to settle for a Samaglia field goal. 
And that's the same story. He was good in the first half from 37. He's good in the second half from 32. Jones blitz doesn't feel it and it is off the fingertips of Harris and Jones is down and a flag comes in late very late as Mac Jones is picked up off the turf personal foul unnecessary roughness number 19 listen man you agree to disagree I've been in that position as a quarterback that was not a foul <laughs> on third and two Harris the ball carrier still on his feet in the Tennessee territory. First down and 10. Good fake. Jones tees it up and completes. Able to hit Devontae Smith on a Saturday night in Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Jones turns around, hands to Najee Harris. And that run game is really picked up here for Alabama. Here's Harris, down to the five. They split out Mac Jones, and they throw to the end zone, the Forrest Alls caught. Slade Bolden hits Miller Forrest on the end zone for the Alabama touchdown. He went through so much of that a year ago, and to have a very similar looking injury, that's a, that's tough. Tennessee's already lost their starting quarterback, Brian Maurer. And as Jared Garantano was throwing for Jawan Jennings, there is a flag down. Jeremy Pruitt put it on his quarterbacks. He said, with better quarterback play, we're four and two instead of two and four. Here's third down and five. Pressure up the middle. Garantano can't escape from that one. It's Terrell Lewis on the sack. For some reason, it hasn't happened. Yeah. Here's the right-handed Mac Jones. He runs righty as well. He's going to be short of the first down. <laughs> Here's Ty Piron, the walk-on. To punt it away. And listen to the roar from the crowd. Pleased. It's amazing. Marquez Callaway. On the far side, and it's Pirine who lowers the shoulder. Wow, he starts making tackles here, too. If you don't have an open receiver, your legs can get you the first down. Third and four. Bama really rushing three. Garantano completes to Callaway. He's across midfield. That's Jennings in motion. Garantano able to complete to Chandler, who leaked out of the backfield. For the first down, a gain of eight. Only now is he covered up by McKinney. Bama rushing five. Garantano will take a shot for Callaway. Under throw to the flag comes in late on Sertan. He's too good of a player to be that grabby. You got to know about it. Here's Tim Jordan. Down to the 10 yard line. And draw the pass interference. Second and two. Here's Tim Jordan turning the corner, lowers the shoulder, and he's banged out at the two by McKinney. Back in the Wildcat with Jordan. Going to try to run for it, and they'll just get back to the line of scrimmage. Darren Tano back in there. That's Jordan to his right. Gives it to him. Anthony Jennings, the stop, gain of one. Crouch is in. As the blocking back down to the goal line, gonna be stopped short. Garantano tried to get there, the ball comes out. Trayvon Diggs running down the sideline. Trayvon Diggs, nobody's gonna catch him. There are no flags. This will be a 100-yard scoop and score for Alabama. That would lead to, that would make sense to lead to a, a situation that you saw from Jeremy Pruitt. Shrout is going to be taken down. It's Terrell Lewis. They had the bye week prior to that, the fully unleashed and raring to go. They'll get another bye.
before the LSU game. There's Jalen Waddle trying to make a few people miss. Waddle with that shoulder pad flapping in the wind. Jalen Waddle in the Vols territory to the 38 yard line of Tennessee. On the ground, Robinson has the first down yardage. There is an NCAA ban on tobacco in the locker room. So the winning team will be forced to self-report the NCAA violation and, and hope for a slap on the wrist. Oh, guys right next to her. <laughs> Molly legitimately just asked me which side you smoke the cigar from. <laughs> Robinson for the first down. Arkansas comes calling on Alabama next Saturday night here. Then it's a bye week, and then it's the LSU game here on November the 9th. Jeremy Pruitt's post-game press coverage will be interesting as well. That's the story. Alabama able to win. And Nick Saban goes to 19-0 against his former assistants. Tennessee hung around for as long as they could. For Todd McShay, Molly McGrath, Brian Greasy, and our entire crew, I'm Steve Lee. Send time to Scott Van Pelt.